Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. How's everyone doing? So, last video you saw that I actually printed something that was really cool. And so what I wanna do now is I wanna actually put this thing together and it's an automatic fish feeder. Um, so, I'm just gonna put the box together for now, okay? That's where the auger goes and all that stuff. I'm just gonna put the box together and as you can see these little teeth, see those little teeth? Those all kind of mesh together per the design, I'm sure. Let me start here at the bottom. Let's see if I can get this. I'm gonna do it on the table anyway, but anyway, see that? The bottom fit together. Once you get the first part in line, the rest kind of just snaps on in. Okay. So I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue. <laughs> I'm gonna use some Gorilla Glue. Dang it! <laughs> and um, get that together. And then the hardware and all that stuff. The programming. Um, I used to do programming when I was younger, but I'm gonna have to figure that out. So that might be on latter videos. But I'm gonna put together the box. This at least with the auger and everything. And I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put it on some kind of board that hangs over my, um, my, um, my, basically my, my fish tank for my aquaponic system. So, and this should hold a grip of food, like a grip, like a whole grip. It should fit in there. So, but it's going to hold a lot of food, which means I'm not going to have to deal with this, every, uh, but every once in a while. So let's get to it. All right. So this shouldn't be too difficult. We'll see though, right? So I'm just going to take it off for now. I got some Gorilla glue, glue, Gorilla glue. There we go. <laughs> and I got the gel kind. Um, that way it's a little bit more easy to manage. Um, so hopefully I'll get all this on camera. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna hold on to this for a little while till it dries up all the way. It's the one thing about gel is it's not, uh, it doesn't dry as fast, it seems anyway. That's what it seems to me. Uh, Make sure that you guys are wearing gloves because <laughs> I got it all over my hands. Not a crazy amount though, <laughs> but crazy enough. I think we're good. Sponsored by Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Grew. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. So, that's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the auger. Yeah, see, it's not staying. I'm going to go, I'm going to actually put this on a flatter surface, but I'm going to put the auger and everything on, and then uh, I'll come back to you guys. Uh, 
All right, guys. So this is the box. It's uh, mostly put together, as you guys can see. I got some uh, bolts here um, and some screws, screws and bolts, basically. Um, I was going to bolt them in in the back, but I'm going to do that later on. I don't even think it needs it, really, because it's pretty tight. Um, so, but anyways, I do want to show you guys kind of the whole thing here. So this would be the motor box, and that's kind of the idea um, to drive that auger bit in there. This is probably going to change because with the Arduino microcontroller that I have, um, it's I think it's a little too small. The motor itself will fit in here, but uh, I might do away with this and maybe put something a little bit bigger on the back here. I might just even strap it to the to the box or to this tongue and groove board. This tongue and groove board is actually going to hang the the unit over the water uh, with the fish. So let me get some of these tools a little bit more out of the way here. Um, so I want to have this on the edge of my, um, of my, uh, my aquaponic, uh, fish tank. So I'm not going to go into high detail about this here. I mean, you guys know how to hang stuff over water. Um, so I'm just going to just mark it real quick. Oops. Of course. I want it centered though. I don't want to be ugly ugly about this okay and then I'm just gonna because I can't reach those holes there very good oh of course it didn't work there we go and then I'll go into I'm not gonna go into detail about how I'm gonna drill the holes and all that stuff I mean Unless you guys want me to. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's look at this a little bit better, though. So, like I said, this is where the motor would be. Am I getting this on video? Okay, yeah. This would be where the motor would be. Um, this is where the auger uh, or the fish feed is going to come out. Okay. And the auger actually spins. And that puts down the feed, actually. It needs to spin that way. So, see, you have to consider certain things when programming this Arduino as well. You need to have it either going clockwise or counterclockwise. And, and to me, it looks like we're, we're going to need it to go counterclockwise in order for that thing to spit out food. So, you have to program that function into um, your uh, Arduino. Um, so, anyway, the fish feed is going to come out here. Uh, I almost glued this, which I'm glad I didn't, though, because if I wanted to get in here and I wanted to get the auger out for any reason, I can just pull it out now, okay? So, provided it's not locked in, obviously, with the, with the nut in the back, but you'd have to probably undo it here, and then you can pull it out. So, but other than that, yeah, that's how that goes, right? And then on the inside, this is the cap, right? And then on the inside, you have your auger and... And how it's gonna, I mean, you could see how it's tapered, so it's gonna put all the feed down there towards the auger. Uh, and it's gonna, you know, spin, and as it spins, it's gonna bring the food down to that opening. So, <clears throat> so anyway, I just wanted to cover, you know, kind of show you guys the unit a little bit better put together, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang it on this board, and I'm gonna put it over my fish tank, so. Uh, next time I'll be talking more about the programming aspect of things. I'm a learner on that, so don't, you know, I wouldn't say don't listen, but definitely give me feedback that is constructive for everybody, because that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make sure this is constructive for me and for you guys. So I'm not a programmer. So anyways, let's get the holes drilled out and let's get this thing hung over the water. So the idea, obviously, is to hang it off the edge here so that it, the fish feed goes down into the, um, the fish tank. So uh, let's get this out of the way because I already marked my spots here. And let's get a drill bit out. And we can get that out of the way too. Okay. Okay. Sorry about my sexy feet, but you're gonna have to deal with that. I know it's hard.
again. I'm just trying to line these holes up. I'm, I'm eyeballing it basically. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. Um, probably a mistake. <laughs> But we'll find out. You'll never know, because I'll edit it all out. <laughs> yeah, you guys know me. I edit out stuff. Believe it or not, I did mark this. It's not meant to hold it in there like crazy. I mean, it's it's just meant to, to ju just hold it. Okay? So... Let's see if we're looking all right. Just need to scoot over a little more. All right, good enough. I do need to drill out the plastic as well, but uh, let me get that done and then we'll check it out in the tank. All right, there it is. Good old tongue and groove. <laughs> so it does look cool over the water. The lighting's not very good under here, but it's because I try to keep sunlight off of the tanks as best I can because you'll get an algae bloom. Algae blooms eat um, nutrients, and you don't want that in an aquaponic system. You want your nutrients to go into the plants you are planting, not algae. So anyways, um, yeah, this is it. So... I think it looks pretty cool in my system here. So, can't wait to get it started, you know? So that's the next half of this video. It's, it's going to be basically me trying to get this thing going. Um, I think I have the programming worked out already. And I'll try and show you guys on the computer. It's probably going to be a video of the screen. Because um, I don't know how to capture the screen very good. Um, but I already have the motor that I think I'm going to be using. And um, yeah. Uh, you know, the one thing about the programming thing, uh, programming of this is I have the programming to where it'll come on every 24 hours or 12 hours or whatever I want. The only thing is, is that, um, and I can control the amount the auger spins. So those, those things are huge uh, to get this thing going. Um, the only thing is is that I don't think the motor um, turns off so it'll stop it'll stop coming on per se but it's kind of like a TV when you leave a TV on it's in, and it's plugged in still it's still getting power so I don't know if that'll burn out the motor so we'll find out um, I did order an extra one as well so um, but anyways if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more, um, obviously, or you want to see a follow-up video of this um, automatic fish feeder that I 3D printed, uh, hit that bell icon, and you'll get the update video in your in your mailbox. So, hopefully, this goes well, and I don't have to feed the fish anymore so as much. So, I'm going to pull this off so it starts skimming the top of the water. So, anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Um, God bless you, and like always, peace. Join me on Instagram, instagram.com forward slash home farm ideas. And I'm going to be, or I already post a lot of videos. Usually I post stuff like this before it even comes out in YouTube. So join me over there, uh, link below. Comments, questions, suggestions, pop them below, okay? Later. <laughs>